On this Monday morning, let's talk about the recent death of Muhammad Ali and his 30 your struggle with Parkinson's disease has brought the neurological disease kind of back into the spotlight. Yes, yeah, so Dr. Okeanis Val from the Nora Neurological Clinic in Abbott Northwestern is here to talk about Parkinson's and also some of the medical advancements that have been happening over the last few years to treat it. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. So let's first just talk uh, Parkinson's. What is it and, and what does it look like if people aren't super familiar with the disease? So Parkinson's disease is a um, progressive neurodegenerative disorder that um, um, is basically quite becoming more common. It's the second most common after um, Alzheimer's, second most common neurodegenerative disorder. It affects the cells in the brain to produce less dopamine and um, it affects the whole body in a way that patients move differently, differently slower, it's more difficult for them to um, walk, um, they're more unsteady, they have more tremors. Mm -hmm. Um, these are the first signs that can tell you that person, a person might have Parkinson's disease. So we know that Muhammad Ali lived with the disease for decades. He's kind of the face of it. Uh, and so what is it like actually to live with a disease? So you're, you're right. Um, he practically had Parkinson's for almost half of his life. So um, it's different in various stages of the disease and different ages of um, the patient's life. Um, so what needs to uh, most people need to know that they if they follow the patient the doctor's recommendations and take their medication exercise um, have a regular exercise uh, schedule they actually have can have a good quality of life for a long time so we shouldn't say that if you, someone has Parkinson's their life is over mm -hmm. and you said since his death you've heard from more people whether it be patients or family members that all of a sudden maybe this disease kind of you know sparked something in their mind that thought maybe I should look into this who is at risk and, and who are these people that are thinking alright maybe this is something I need to look into further and that's a good question because um, many people once they have um, let's say a tremor they think that they might have Parkinson's disease which is not always the case so most people that walk into my office usually have um, a tremor, a resting tremor, meaning that they're, when their hands are resting on their lap, they start having a tremor. It's usually, it usually starts on one side of their body and then cross, crosses over to the other one, to the other side, and um, they're slow, they're more stooped um, posture, they have shuffling gait, they're unsteady, they have tightening of their muscles, that's what Parkinson does. So these are the first signs that someone might have Parkinson's disease, but it doesn't mean that they do have Parkinson's because there are other uh, disorders that look like Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. could, so it could be something else. Could be something else. Right, let's talk about the future of Parkinson's disease and what kind of uh, advancements have we made in the medical world in, in treating it, in diagnosing it? Mm -hmm. So for in terms of diagnosis, there is no test till now that we can, there's no lo blood, wor uh, um, blood work or um, imaging that we can do to say that someone has Parkinson's disease. Um, but we're looking for it. And what's also very exciting is that there's a lot of um, research going on for treatment and not just to treat the symptoms of Parkinson but also find cure. So compared to what uh, research was 10 years ago, it certainly is very promising with what's going on in, this, in, in the medical world right now. Um, we're seeing more and more medications coming out. There came, there's medications that came out last year. There's medications that are coming out this year and even more to come in the near future. So yes, very promising. And with his death, at least it gets people talking. Exactly, about awareness, this. raise awareness about Parkinson's, yeah. Sure. And what again is very important to know is that patients with Parkinson can have a good quality of life for a long time. So in other words, it's not a death sentence. Um, if you're doing if you're following your medications and exercise, um, you can have you ha can have a good life for a long time. All right, I like leaving it on a positive right. note. Dr. Okeanis Bao, thanks so much for being here this morning and filling sure. us in. And you know, we've learned a lot yeah, about Parkinson's yeah. disease. Thank so you. My pleasure. Nice being here.